Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. Let's get right into it, guys. Today's story is another one for you guys about Big Ed Brown and Liz Woods. And the last video we did about these two um, talked about how Ed and Liz got into a heated argument, um, you know, around Liz's daughter, Riley, and how Riley, the 10-year-old, basically had to be the grown-up or the adult in the situation and calm things down for these two, especially for Big Ed. Now, this is not uncommon with Big Ed and Liz. They've gone into countless arguments, abusive ones, uh, over the years. And oftentimes, they'll have a couple of drinks and it'll involve some alcohol and they'll have uh, some nasty arguments. But this one was around Liz's young daughter. And so it left people feeling a little uncomfortable. Now, just uh, yesterday, Liz responded to the uh, interaction that she had with Big Ed. And this is what today's video is about. So let's take a look um, at what's going on here, what Liz had to say about this whole incident with Big Ed. Now, we know that Big Ed and Liz have split up. They are no longer together. Liz is seeing a new man, Jason, who is a Navy vet. And so also more age appropriate than uh, Big Ed. Uh, he is around her age. I actually think he's a little younger, if I'm not mistaken. So he's around her age, way more age appropriate uh, and a Navy vet. He overall sounds like a much better guy than Big Ed right there. So um, congrats to Liz on finally dumping the Big Egg and moving on with her life. Liz Woods shades Big Ed Brown on Instagram after she shares a playful pizza making with her daughter Riley after a relationship with uh, Big Ed ends. Now fans blast Big Ed for his behavior on 90 Day Fiance, calling him out for being narcissistic during a flower fight with Liz and Riley. Liz moves on from Big Ed, focusing on communication issues and enjoys a happy relationship with her new man, Jason. Now this is coming to us from Screen Rant. So Liz Woods is addressing the fight that she had with Big Ed over flower in front of her daughter, Riley. Liz and Big Ed started dating after his split from Rosemary Vega. That was uh, four years ago. Big Ed and Liz broke up more than 14 times. Now this number changes every time that I speak about Big Ed and Liz. It's 12, no, it's 13, no, it's 14. It's probably even more than that. I don't even know if they can remember some of their breakups and they probably broke up and got together back in like five minutes, maybe a couple of times. Who knows with these two? And that's why I'm even worried that they might even get back together even now. Say that Liz and Jason doesn't work out, right? And Big Ed and whatever he's doing, whichever person he's trying to con next doesn't work out, you know, maybe they'll get back together. I'm actually worried that Liz could go back to Big Ed. Um, Big Ed and Liz broke up uh, so many times, and uh, since they got together, yeah, they thought that it was a good idea to get married. Now, I heard that the marriage or the wedding date is uh, August 29th. They left San Diego behind and moved to Arkansas in Season 8 of Happily Ever After, where Big Ed and Liz started real estate careers. Meanwhile, Big Ed was trying to step into the role of being a father to Riley. Liz is throwing major sh shade at Big Ed Brown in her newest Instagram update. And this is what's going on right here. So this is on her IG. And she shared this um, just a few days ago. She says, a few days after filming, when Little Miss and I, just us two, had the house to ourselves, we recreated our own fun pizza day. It was all smiles and laughter that even turned into a flower fight. So basically what she's saying here is that since Big Ed was not home, he was not here, uh, we were able to have a, a great time. No toxicity around, no you know abusive language, no screaming, no arguments, just me and Riley, and it was great. No Ed, and everything was just so much better without Big Ed. And honestly, I have no doubt that that's true, which is why I never understood why Liz needed Big Ed in the first place. It never made sense to me. He just seems to weigh her down every time. And, you know, when you're in a relationship with someone, I think that you look for your spouse, your partner, to try to lift you up. You you, you, you look, I think you look for that in a relationship uh, where it's, you know, you both lift each other up. 
and in this case i don't see i don't see how big ed has ever lifted liz up in fact i think he's just kept her down all of this time perhaps she finally realized this this life lesson and she's finally been able to move on but i don't i never saw the ways in which big ed uh, ever lifted liz uh, in any way shape or form i think big ed is like a leech he kind of leeches onto you and he sucks all the lifeblood away from you until you have nothing else and this seems to be the way that he kind of operates and does things not just here but also with rose and obviously other situations that um we're not going to get into that today because we already went over that just in the last video but you can see here that liz is throwing major shade at big ed basically saying just how much happier she is without him david Taborovsky uh in the comments here uh you know saying oh and then someone here says so glad you finally got rid of ed and did not marry him but of course she did his treatment of people is abusive emotionally mentally financially and spiritually probably because he feels inadequate physically he bullies in all the other possible ways but he shouldn't need the house to yourselves in order to have peace and fun and smiles honey the best to you and uh, this person here says that she did marry him in August, on August 29th, um, which I believe is, it's around then, it's at the end of August. He is the biggest, smallest gaslighter I've ever witnessed. Liz and her daughter are beautiful, they don't need his BS. He's probably in Vegas with escorts he can't even afford. Such a little man, and I don't mean appearance, I mean his whole aura and terrible childish attitude makes him a small human. Hopefully he can seek some meaning in his life. And realize how bad he messed up here. Liz was so patient with him. And he hurt her so badly. Reprehensible. Um, I kind of agree with this, uh, you know, with this person here. I like the way that she put all of that together. Big Ed is a small man. And we're not making fun of his appearance. He is just small in the way that he behaves. This is 100% true. He loves to gaslight and manipulate uh, people. Especially women. And Big Ed is the kind of person that latches on to people that he sees as vulnerable, or at least in a vulnerable state in their life, and he loves to, to just leech off of that. That's exactly what he did with Liz, in my opinion, as well. And I think that Liz is seeing the benefits of not having Big Ed around and just how freeing it is not to be with that kind of person. Let's see what else it says here. Little girl had a role... Uh, a roll in her, a rolling in her hand as she smiled for the camera while rolling some pizza dough. The counter was messy uh, and full of flour while Riley's clothes, hands, and face were also covered in it. Liz revealed that the photo was clicked a few days after filming. Now, Liz added that she recreated their own fun pizza day. The pizza-making session was all smiles and laughter. And later, it even turned into a flower fight. Liz was making a breakfast pizza with her daughter while Big Ed joined them in the kitchen. When Liz asked her daughter if she remembered how to make the flour... Big Ed interjected, do the flower without making a mess. He told the cameras that while he loved having Riley around, he could feel that he was going to have to mop the floor once they were done baking. Big Ed kept telling Liz and Riley that they were making a mess and pulled out some tissues to clean the counter while Riley mixed her ingredients. Liz had snapped at Big Ed and asked him to relax while he let Liz know that she was being a little brat. Fans called out Big Ed for his narcissistic behavior uh, during the scene and Liz's comments. So we went over that uh, just yesterday. Um, this other person here says, I wouldn't want him to be part of raising my daughter. Fans notice Riley. Now, we also know that Big Ed had a, a, you know, a difficult relationship with his own daughter, his estranged daughter. We, we saw her during the Rose season towards the end. I think we might have seen her um, make some appearances here and there since then. Uh, they had a, a little bit of a reunion. It was, it was kind of difficult. You can tell that his own daughter... Uh, has um, a difficult relationship uh, with her dad. And, um, you know, you can see the kind of person he is. It makes total sense. Fans noticed Riley looking stressed during the scene when all she wanted was to bake pizza and be happy. Now, Liz and Big, uh, Big Ed's wedding on Happily Ever After was just eight weeks away when they filmed the pizza scene. Liz knew that she and Big Ed still had to work on their communication, and seeing him act like that in front of her child may have helped Liz foresee the future. Liz has already said goodbye to Big Ed in a senseless tantrum. She's currently in a happy relationship, supposedly, with Jason and is spending more time with her daughter now that she doesn't have to deal with the childish Big Ed. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is the absolute best thing to ever happen to Liz 
and uh, and her daughter Riley to cut out Big Ed from her life. I on I honestly think that this is great for Liz, and I wish her nothing but the best. Um, I never, you know, we criticize most people here, and this is oh, this is Liz. My my baby and friends come to visit me. She says, uh, and Contro North Park. I'm just here to annoy her. I, I guess this was posted by somebody else. I'm not sure here, but you can see Liz working. So that's great. Uh, I, I don't know if this is the restaurant that she was supposed to co-own. I'm not exactly sure. I'd have to go back in and check into that. And Contro, uh, it's been a while. But you can see here that Liz is working, and you can see that she's smiling, right? She looks happy. This is what, this is what getting rid of Big Ed does to a person. She looks happy. <laughs> That's amazing. And so I really think that this is the best thing that has happened to Liz ever since she met Big Ed. She thought that she needed Big Ed in her life. And she thought that for years and years and years until she realized that she didn't and that her life was way better without him. And I think that now that she's free, she's going to feel that weight lifted off her shoulder. Uh, and you can kind of see it. She's just seemed so much happier uh, smiling a lot more, um, you know, she looks in better shape than before, she looks healthier, everything about her, she looks like she has a bit of a glow to her, so uh, that's that's the story for today, guys, Liz throwing shade at Big Ed, now, you know, we've commented on this, um, you know, in the last couple of videos we did about this, and also about Happily Ever After in general, but of course, we're going to see this wedding, and I don't get why we're going to see this wedding, and you can see that we're even, you know, even the sites, sometimes we talk about things here on the channel that are happening in real time. Some of these websites, some of these publications, they don't mention that. But even now with, you know, with Screen Rant and some of these other sites, everybody knows that Big Ed and Liz got married. Nobody is hiding it. We're not pretending like it doesn't happen. So literally everybody that's on the internet that follows the show knows that this wedding is happening. And so... We're just going through the motions, watching the show, watching something that we know is going to happen. We're just kind of hoping maybe that the drama or the ride, you know, towards the destination will be entertaining. But we already know what happens, which is uh, a disastrous end to this relationship. And, um, you know, Liz and Big Ed split up and go their separate ways after their wedding so that's the update for today guys hope you guys enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up if you did hit that subscribe button down below for more content right here on the channel also do you guys wish that liz would drop some of these uh posts where she shades big ed more often she doesn't do that liz is generally very nice and she's very political i i guess not sure if it's the right word but she doesn't trash big ed openly very often even after they have these fights. So um, she did it in this one, but just throwing some pretty serious shade without actually resorting to name calling and other stuff that Big Ed himself has done in the past, like telling his uh, haters to uh, screw off, basically, uh, in, in other words. So that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.